Let me give you some examples of how text from one research paper can be picked up word for word by multiple other papers with and without proper attribution. The examples shown here fall under the category of patch writing, as explained in the previous video. They may not be severe plagiarism, but they still fall outside of proper scholarly writing practices. The section of writing I am showing you now comes from a paper by M. A. Wahab et al., published in 2003 in the journal Polymer. The highlighted section consists of 165 words that have been copied in bits and pieces by several other authors in subsequent years. Let's look at those other papers. In 2004, FXQ et al. copied 128 words from Wahab's article on page 719 of their article. They do supply citation to the correct paper, but they do not use quotation marks around the verbatim sections, which you can see highlighted in yellow here. In 2007, Lin and Wang copied 127 words from Wahab's article on page 326 of their article. They supplied two citations, neither of which is to the correct paper, and they do not use quotation marks around the verbatim section. In 2007 again, Zhang et al. copied 41 words from Wahab's article on page 386 of their article. They supply no attribution and do not use quotation marks around the verbatim section. Sasikala et al. copied 35 words from Wahab's original article on page 818 of their article. For that section, they supply a citation to the 2007 Lin and Wang paper, not the original Wahab paper, and they do not use quotation marks around the verbatim sections. While this may have been a mistake on their part, it does mean that Lin and Wang are getting credit for information that originally came from Wahab. So as you can see, words can be taken from one paper and reused a number of times by other authors with and without proper attribution. In all of these cases, the authors should have included quotation marks around the material they used or paraphrased it, as well as provided attribution to the original author.